Hey guys, welcome to part 3 video on network automation series using API. So this is a continuation to our previous video where we have installed the Thunder client and did some basic API calls to the netbox. So that was a more of a beginner guide. So in this video, we'll do a deep dive and understand how to configure and provision the bulk devices using APIs. So the idea here is that we want to configure different parameters in the organizations like tenants, region, site. Then we'll also jump into the device configurations like we will configure a device type we'll also configure the device roles platforms and finally add the devices so if you look at here let's say if i want to add a device here so it says before you add a device you must create a site similarly if i go to device type let's say it says that you must configure a manufacturer so there is a process and the structures we need to follow so we're going to do this step by step all right so let's jump into the VS code here. So we have seen how to configure the environment. So we have set it up the NB URL, which is the netbox IP address, and we have set the tokens. All right, so let's begin today's demo by creating a new collections. To create a new collection, let's go here inside the collections, then the new collections. So let's give a name. You can give whatever name you want to give here under this collections you will have multiple options we'll go through this each and every options but right now we'll create a new folder and we'll give a name as onboarding network devices so under this folder we can group all our api requests so let's create a new request so we'll give name as create Tenant. So by default, whenever we create a new request, it will be on get mode. So we can change to the post mode because we want to create the tenant. So if I go back to the netbox dashboard, you know how to get the documentation. Click on the REST API documentations, and here you will see different endpoints. Now for the tenant creations, you have further down. We have to go down inside and this is the api endpoint so let's copy the endpoint details and put it on the vs code but before that do one thing here we need to attach our environment variable with the collections so let's go to the settings here then click on the environment then select netbox so now we got the netbox environment variable attached with the our collections now let's go back to the Tenant post request. So first of all, we need to put the URL. The URL would be our uh, the variable. So let's call the uh, nb underscore URL, which is the IP address along with the port number. Then append with the API endpoint, which just got from the netbox UI. So this is the complete URL. So now we need to update the header field with authorization. So we have seen in the previous video the authorization to the netbox is via tokens. So let's call token space then the token variable now let's go to the next field which is body so for any post queries we need to define the body this is the input variable we are going to define required for the post queries so if i go back to the netbox ui you can see under the tenants for the creation of a tenant we need to give a name and the slug and few other details so those details are optional but let's give a name and slug so I already have something created over here. If you look at the details here, so everything is inside a dictionary and which is enclosed with a list. If I want to create one more tenant, then we can give a comma, put the next elements in a dictionary in a key value format. So that's the overall request look like. Let's go ahead and send this request to the netbox. And you see a response coming back with a response code of 201, which indicates that object has been created on the netbox. And you can see the ID then the URL, then the, the name we have put as a payload while sending the post request and so many other details. All right, so next we'll create a region. So for that, let's duplicate this request. We'll give a name as create region. And for the payload information, let's go to the documentation again. So here under the DCIMs, search for region so we'll have a endpoint details here let's copy the 
details from here update the url again uh, we need to mention the payload information right so we'll create a region as nglab underscore region just for the demo purpose and the and the selected let's go ahead and send this request we can see the region has been created the id is 9 and there is a link and the display name slide name everything has been updated similarly once we have the tenants and region created so we will create a site inside the, the tenant and this region so let's see how to do that so let's duplicate this request again and let's rename it to create sites And again for the endpoint information let's look for sites here so you'll see a lot of uh, site related uh, link but this is the one we should be using let's go back and update the endpoint informations and for the sites of course we need to mention the region tenant and the status so payload have more details this time so so we need to update the region details now the tenant id is 9 and the region id is 9 so let's update accordingly so let's go ahead and set this request so we have the site created this is nglab1 and now what we will do is we'll go back to the netbox tool and see if that has been created so if i go to the sites we can see the site has been created nglab1 and there is a, a region details and there's a tenant details and the status is active so it has been successfully created on the netbox and if you want to create one more site you can do the similar call but you can add one more element the way i have done here now we have done with organization part let's switch to the devices so there is an order we have to follow when you are creating the devices because we have to define device type device roles then manufacturers and platform then finally create the devices so let's see how to add the manufacturers first so to create the manufacturers let's go to manufacturer here so here is the endpoint details let's go back let's duplicate this request again i'm going to say it manufacturers create manufacturers Right, so then we have to update the body field here so we will create Cisco and Juniper for just for the demo purpose we can add whichever manufacturer you want to add so let's go ahead and send this request for the manufacturers so we have the manufacturer Cisco then we have the manufacturer Juniper has been updated over here all right next what we want to do here is the device roles so let's copy the request again and change it to device roles and then the endpoint informations let's grab it from here so let's search for role so here is the role uh, link the API endpoint details so let's put that here and the, for the payload we will create a role as WAN routers, LAN switch, and DC. So these are the roles we want to create. Then let's go ahead and send this request. So we have the device for WAN router with an ID of 15, then LAN switch with an ID of 16, then the DC switch with an ID of 17. Alright. So now let's go ahead and create device type. So how do we create a device type? Let's duplicate this request. Let's type, let's rename it. Device types. And um, we'll create three different device types. So before that, let's get the URL information. So here is the device type. Let's update that on the link here. Then we'll have a device type payload.
So here we have to call the manufacturer details. Okay. So for us, we have created manufacturer Cisco and Juniper. So for since we are playing with only with Cisco, let's make all the manufacturers into Cisco here. Right. So let's go ahead and send this request. Related object uh, not found using the provided numeric ID. So let's go ahead and check the manufacturer again. All right, so there's a typo over here. Let's go back and check the link for the manufacturers. I think we have sent a wrong API request to the manufacturers. Let's update this one and send it. So we have these ideas nine and 10. So let's go ahead and nine is the manufacturer. Let's update all the three entries. Let's go ahead and send this. Yeah, now we have the manufacturers updated successfully. Next, let's create a platform here. So the, let's duplicate the request again. We'll rename it to create platforms. RMS, yeah. Then we'll have uh, the endpoint information from the documentation. So here is the endpoint. And we'll give the body field. So let's create specific to routers, switches, and nexus. So we'll have iOS XR, then we'll have nexus, then we'll have iOS. So since this is from Cisco, let's update the platform from Cisco, which is nine. So let's update to nine. Nine here. Yep. So we have all the field updated. So let's go ahead and send this request. Now all the three platform created for an iOS XR, then Nexus, then the iOS. All right, so these are the components related to the devices, manufacturer device or device different platform. So now we have come to the final part of the video where we learn how to do a bulk device export from the Thunder client to the netbox. So let's duplicate this request and we'll give it a name as create devices. And when it comes to the body, we need to update a few other details for the devices. So as you know, we already created all the parameters like manufacturer's device role, device type platforms, then regions and trends. So we need to attach all those details when we create a device. So here is the field look like. So we'll have the name, then we'll have the tenant, then we have the site details, which site it should be part of, then device type, platform, roles, and the status. So if you go back here, we can see the ID of the tenant is nine. Similarly, sites. So we have the created one of the sites. The ID of the site is 14, let's update it. Let's update the site everywhere. Now the device type, we already have seen the device types created for, we have a multiple device type. So let's go ahead and run this request. So we get some error here. It says that select field is not defined. So what we have done is we have not updated the endpoint details. So let's find out the endpoints. So it should be device. So we'll find few other device uh, endpoints. Let's grab this one. Put the details here. And send it. All right, so we have the successful post request. There is a 201. So the object has been created. And you see a whole lot of details about the device, right? It's like, you know, the the backend details about the IP address, latitude, longitude, rag details, which we have not updated, it's null right now, but you can, of course, can update it through the post request. 
but let's verify this from the UI as well. So I'll switch to the device dashboard here, click on it. You see the devices has been updated. We have bulk export. So we have three devices uploaded and its status is updated. Its tenant details. We have only single tenant created so far and its site information and the location which we have not updated the rack then then we got the roles defined for the cat 8000b it is mapped to land switch the nexus is mapped to dc switch and the, then the sandbox ios xr is mapped to wand out then we got the manufacturers it's all from cisco then the type we have defined during the post request and you can mention the ip address if required all right guys this is a step by step guide and this is how you can do a post request to the netbox and update the device details and of course one more thing we can do here is that we can export these collections and we can share it and collaborate with others and they can also instead of making the all along they can import those requests and they can start reusing those collections that's the beauty of collections through thunder client it is very easy to make it you have seen those steps i hope this is informative and thank you for watching and see you on the next video